Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you about the multiple apps that I used during my pregnancy and even after Levi was born. As is a theme with multiple of my videos lately, I struggled to find the right app. I even tested out multiple apps simultaneously before I could find the right one. So I wanted to share it with you today so you don't have to go through what I already did. I'm going to share my screen with you, my phone screen with you, so you can have a look and you can follow um, what I'm going through. So the first part is going to be the apps that I used while I was pregnant during pregnancy. There are five apps out of probably 10 or 11 apps that I tested out. The first one is this pregnancy app. Now with this app, there are multiple different apps that does the same thing as this, but I like this for specific reasons because you can see the calendar. I'm going to go to when I found out I was pregnant. There you go. So that was August 2020. It shows you in a calendar view. So you can see all of your symptoms. You can mark your weight um, and your size and a lot of other things on there as well. For example, let me click on one and then I'll show you. So you mark your weight in there and then you make a note of your waist size as well. And with symptoms, you have all of these symptoms listed and there's the intensity of it that you can select one, two or three or whatever it is. And it shows you pictures of it. So these pictures will appear in the column that you selected. For example, I made a note also. So you can add your symptoms and then you can add a few other notes, additional notes if you wanted to. So you can add a note and I'll show you in this bubble over here. I like this because you can see the screen and you can have an overview of your symptoms. With November onwards, I stopped marking my symptoms because I didn't really have as much symptoms anyway. But I was weighing myself very, very regularly, almost every single day. And as for weight, let me show you. Let's scroll back. Um, started in August. Where are we? There we go. So that's where my weight was and it shows you whether it was a steady increase or dip or you know if you're putting on too much weight. Um, if you want to monitor, if you're into that kind of things, you can see that. And then as for my waist, you can see the increase. And then I was measuring it after Levi was born, but only up till May. And then after that, I stopped. I just yeah, I just forwent that thing as in I didn't really want to follow that at all so I didn't bother doing it. You can also mark your cravings and everything so if you wanted to monitor it, you wanted to see if there was any specific pattern or any kind of food that was triggering you off or whatever, you could do that. Um, there are several other settings in this section that you can do and there is also a pro version of it. So the one that I showed you all this while is only a free version. It isn't the paid for with the paid for you can add um, name gallery photo gallery and you know as in me baby name options photo gallery doctor's appointments contractions and everything else i didn't bother with any of those things so that was my first app and that's an app that i would use every day second one is a pregnancy plus app with this app i like this because it shows you a 3d version of your baby uh, let's go back to the earlier weeks again as always. I'm just going to try and go back to a few weeks. So each week it will show you which week you're in. For example, this is week 26. The baby is estimated to be 14 inches and 14.41 inches and 875 grams. If you click on this eye over here, it's a bit slow. It gives you more information about that and then if you click on the inches that shows you the actual size of the baby if you were to compare the baby if you were to put your baby next to the phone that's a size and then you can choose um, you know your baby whether it's a boy or a girl you know your skin tone and all of those things and you can download all of those there was more information I think for some reason it's not showing up at the moment this is the only thing that I would use in this app it has a lot of other tools as well so you can make a note of your symptoms daily weekly you can add images like scan images if you wanted to you can add size and timeline 
baby names you can add your own symptoms basically you can do everything that I showed you in the first app itself I didn't want to add appointments and stuff into this we had a different calendar that Lakshman and I were sharing so I just put all of my doctor's appointment in that as opposed to this because um, I can only see this app and Lakshman can't see it so if I were to put my appointment in this then it defeats a purpose does it so if you have any checklist or whatever you want to do you can add on under the to-do list and then you have more information like hospital bag and you know contractions and whatever you need to buy um, again me being me I love my list I love my books and pages of lists so all of my list and checklist and everything went on a, um, a different app and not this one this is for the sake of that 3d version my pregnancy WL this is the NHS app this was very helpful while I was pregnant because of the lockdown because of COVID and the pandemic and everything any information that you want about COVID during labor will be updated here in this page there isn't any information at the moment but um, whichever NHS you're part of, you just log into that and they'll give you all of the information. I don't want to click onto it because it will have some of my information and my notes on there. So I'm not going to click on that. If you're in the UK, this is definitely a very good app that you could use. What to expect when you're expecting? I have got this book. I bought the latest version of this book when I was pregnant and I read the book as well. It had a lot of different information and this app has a lot of different information. This app is quite good. I didn't update it ever since Levi was born so it went all the way up to 42 weeks. Let me show you something for example. Uh, 30 weeks, okay. Baby is the size of a broccoli. You could compare and change it whether you want to use a movie or TV props, whether you want to use like 80s, 90s nostalgia and then you can choose to see your baby's update weekly. It gives you a lot of information. It's very, very informative about your size of the baby, their development, what is growing and what you need to do or how you have to be careful. It also shows you information about yourself, what kind of symptoms you can expect during that week. And uh, it gives you like a brain science, a weekly brain science thing. So that was very good. Again, you have multiple different tools in this app. You can check your ovulation, you can check your due date calculator. Ovulation would be obviously before you got pregnant. So this, the idea of this app is to be like all in one app. And then you can add recipes, baby products, photo journals. Um, I noticed a lot of apps are very good with photo journaling. I wasn't as good in uploading those photos, although I did take most of my weekly photos or monthly photos ultimately. And then you have community if you want to chat. Uh, they have a forum. It's actually a very helpful forum. A lot of people share their own symptoms and they discuss before the baby, even after the baby. So you can be a part of that forum if you are searching for anything, you click on search and then you just type and they will give you the information and the information from what to expect group is um, scientifically proven as in it's basically based on research and based on science it's not just random old wives tale or you know someone else's experience or whatever and the last app that i used during pregnancy is this one called hi mom i loved loved this app this was such a good app let me go back to when i was pregnant so I can show you uh, newborn. Oh, it's moved on to newborn already now. So basically what it does is it gives you a notification. If, if you allow it to give you notification, it gives you a notification and then it'll pop up as if your baby is sending you a text message. So every morning it'll say, hi mom, how are you? Uh, I hope you are fine today. There was this one notification that came up as if he was talking to me and I was feeling really sick just the night before and the text says, I know you must be sick now, I'm really sorry but I am growing and I can't help it but very soon you'll feel much better and when I'm out we can cuddle and we can play and you'll forget about your sickness. So every day there's such sweet messages that comes up. It, um, your partner can have another part of this uh, app also however your partner will need to pay for it so what I would do is every morning when I get notifications I'll try I think I may have some screenshots of it 
I will include pictures to show you that. So every morning when I get the notification, I take a screenshot of that and send it to Lakshman. So he can be part of it. It's like my baby is talking to us, you know, my baby is talking and he's trying to tell us something. So the text message will include updates about development or updates about the mother, how the mother will be feeling or probably some potential symptoms that she might be experiencing. Once a baby is born, if you notify the app, the text then changes to advise you about the baby's growth after they are born, obviously. You know, whatever week it is, whatever day it is. I've not been diligent in following this ever since Levi was born, but it does give you a lot of explanation. Um, and for some reason, it's not giving me the notification. I probably need to work out my uh, settings on my phone ever since changing it but then yeah again it has a lot of other tools in here you can update your bump pictures you can update journals uh, your breastfeeding and growth tracker and everything but I didn't find that really handy so the only thing I ever use that uh, this app is for all of these notifications and I loved it so much so those were the five apps that I used during my pregnancy and the next one will be baby tracking apps that I use ever since Levi was born. This again, I tested this out out of seven apps and these are the three ones that I have finalized. The first one is the Huckleberry app. Levi is sleeping at the moment so that's on there. It shows you how to track sleep, how to track feeding. Solids have come on now because Levi is almost six months. This came on when Levi was about five months and one week, I think. Otherwise, this solid section wasn't there before. You can also track wet diapers and uh, dirty nappies and growth and temperature. So all you need to do is go into, like, let's say feeding, for example, okay? Um, I am breastfeeding Levi, so I selected the breastfeeding option. If you're bottle feeding, then select the bottle feeding. You can add the time, how much you feed, you set the units to, you know, you want uh, as ounces or milliliters and everything. So breastfeeding, every time I start breastfeeding, whether it's the left side or the right side, you select whichever one it is, like for example, this one, and then you edit it. Uh, that's added on. Stop and then reset it. Okay, that's all. So once all of that is added on, even with sleep, you then get this entire chart that you can follow through. There's sleep, there is his uh, feeding, his wet nappies, dirty nappies, and even if you were to measure temperature, that will show you in here as this temperature mark over there. And his weight will be in a different chart altogether. So you can see all of those things and you can see it in a list form if you want to go back and view anything. For some reason, if you want to track his feeding, uh, whether he's feeding enough or not or how many times he's been feeding and sleep especially I use this to count everything and to track everything you can see a summary of like 7 days, 14 days, 30 days whatever it is, whether it's sleep, feed, solid, diaper change and nappy whatever it is that you want to track you can look at everything you can pay for it also I'm not paying for this I'm using the free version you can pay for the upgraded version so that the app will then help you track his sleep and give you like a schedule if you like but I've heard that the Huckleberry app um, schedule for sleep is not all that great it's not necessarily appropriate I think it gives you too much sleep or too less sleep and it just doesn't really work uh, it's best to go through different methods to manage your baby's wake window I done another video a couple of weeks ago about how I sleep trained Levi. I started that when he was about four months old. We've not nailed it for sure but we are getting there. I'm kind of understanding his work, wake windows better, he's able to sleep independently even during his regression when he wakes up in the middle of the night he's able to put himself back to sleep so I don't need to rock him or do anything like that. So definitely watch that video if that's something that you're struggling with because it will be helpful. It was really helpful for me as well. And then you can add a few other things about sweet spot and uh, sweet spot and schedule creator is only when you upgrade. Otherwise, with the free version, you get quite a lot. So you don't really need anything else apart from that. Every other app that I've spoken about are free except for the Wonder Weeks. With Wonder Weeks app, I paid £3.99, that's a one-off payment. This app will talk about 
the weekly development and the leaps especially babies go through so many leaps they are like in an entirely different world and it's difficult for them to communicate everything with us so everything in this app everything about the leap and everything is based on research a lot of research you can look at it by date so you can look at it by weeks and it'll talk to you about the leaps we are going through leap five at the moment so it tells you when you could expect each leap leap four was between week 15 to week 19 leap five was between week 23 to 26 one thing i will say though don't take it as a spoken word as in um it's not a definite thing about the weeks um his leaps did not start with these weeks at all in fact levi's leap started a week or uh two weeks before his fourth leap regression so that's where the the four months sleep regression and everything that happened from say about 13 weeks out for him and his fifth month regression also started a week or two before this app suggested that he would what i like about this app is that you can read so much about their leaps you can read about their development what kind of development that they are going through you can have a look at it and they also have videos to show you what kind of development it would be and to show you how their vision would be and how they would then identify you know a lot of movements and all that so that gives you a better understanding and that will help you understand why your babies are reacting in certain ways and they also have a few signals and a few like milestone sort of a thing now i've marked a few here all of the signals and everything that they've listed here um, is not necessarily applicable to all children this the skills and the signals like for levi i've marked a few on here you can actually look at it in your leaps and your diaries and all of those stuff on there different children will always experience different things at different times so just because they've given you a list of skills or a list of signals doesn't mean your child needs to tick everything off. It's not like a tick box thing that you have to tick everything off. If you look at previous leaps, um, Levi did not actually tick off everything. I couldn't because he didn't do all of those things as in he didn't either have the skills or he didn't have any of those signals at that time and it's perfectly all right. This is just a guidance but it's a very very good guidance you can also see what you can do during each leap and how you can help your baby to go through that leap um, that's about it with this you can add a lot of things on here um, with these tools you can add stories photos sleep schedules and skills i don't want to add everything everywhere i only keep one app for one purpose and the very last app is the mama 2 app I will be very honest, I did not use this app as much as I wanted to or as much as I should have. But I really like this app because you can share it with your family and your friends instead of sharing it on social media. You know, if you're a little bit concerned about sharing pictures of your baby on Facebook or Instagram or any other social media which is public. You can download this app, get your family and your friends to download the app and then you can add them onto it so that they can see it also. Or rather when you add them, it automatically sends them a notification and then they can download it. I trialed it as soon as Levi was born and then we added a few pictures. Let me show you. So this was Lakshman adding it on the 13th of April. He added the pictures that we took um, as soon as Levi was born and then I added this picture day one and you can add notifications or rather short comments on there to say you know what was it this was the uh, the one on the 20th of april is a newborn photo shoot that i did at home with levi that was his outfit of the day on the 17th and on the 15th of april i noticed he looked so different two days after he was born and he already looked so different and then on the 3rd of may um, it's just all of my pictures of him was me carrying him while you know waiting for him to burp and everything so these are some of the pictures that I uploaded um, happy first month baby and that's like you click on it and then it will show you the picture that you've uploaded 
it's taking a minute for some reason there you go so that's a picture that I took um, how do I get rid of this there you go click on it and the X so you can see that I've not gone back to this app ever since me we uploaded pictures in me and then we just never went back but I find that it's such a nice way to track it to see the entire timeline and I really wish I've done that and you can chat also when you add your family and friends to it people can comment on the picture that you've uploaded let's say um, my family lives in Glasgow and Lakshman and I are here in Bristol so if I were to take a picture today instead of sending it on WhatsApp if I upload it on this they will see that they will get a notification and they will see it and then they can send some sort of comments on it they can chat about it so it's easy to chat about a specific picture on here and then this one obviously tells you what other upgrades this app is going to go through this was the best app to share pictures for timeline especially compared to any other apps that i have seen or that i have trialed before so those are the apps that i want to share with you i found it really useful i used each one for an entirely different purpose although some of the apps could have done what the other app did but it just wasn't enough information for me for what i wanted to use it for that's all it is if you have used any of these apps let me know how you find it or if you are going to use any of these apps i hope it's helpful for you